and this is done by using just one single image the background this letter and we have applied a layer style drop shadow and we have changed the blend mod so just spend five minutes with me and you'll understand how clipping mask work okay so i'll start fresh i'm gonna start with a new document so Control n make sure that a4 size 300 resolution in landscape orientation document you have open in your computers and then go you can utilize a different image if you want but i'll use this one since i have it already here open so i'm gonna get rid of the mask and make sure that this layer is selected pull this layer go on top of the new uh, document thumbnail and then drag it inside and then leave it so we have managed to import that image inside this new document i'm gonna place it in the center and then say Control t to bring up the transformation controls and hold alt and shift together and then drag it from the bottom corner okay now it's fitting the entire page so next thing what i'm going to do is to write the text so i'm going to use the text tool create a new layer and start typing i'm going to type new york the picture looks like new york i've never been to new york but yeah in movies i have seen it looks like new york anyways if it doesn't you can comment and then you know say that i was wrong i would be happy to see your comment so i have written this text here and it doesn't matter at this point of time which color of text we are using because anyways we are just using it as a container so make sure that the container is at the bottom and the content is on the top the analogy is very simple we are going to fill this content in the container beneath it and that can be done by holding alt on the keyboard and going in between these two layers and when you see this mark here notice the cursor then click if it successfully happens then you would of course see it on the screen but as well as just notice this small clip mark which appears on the left hand side of the thumbnail of the content okay so we have managed to send this image inside it now the best part is that i can still move the image and then decide where to place it i'm gonna say Control z because i don't want to move it and then i'm going to select both of them and then make sure that it is in the center okay now the next thing is i'm going to make a copy of this layer so i can say alt on the keyboard hold alt click on it and then drag that way you'll be making a copy of that layer so what i did here i have copied the same image below the text okay and now, now i'm going to put a filter on it so make sure that the layer is selected then go to the filter menu then go to the blur and choose motion blur just define a very high value for the distance and you'll get this effect you can just try out what suits best for you in this case I like you know the highest possible value of the distance to get this effect perfect now since we have utilized the same image that's why we can see that this streak seems to be coming out of this letter and the color is somehow also matching with the color inside the letter we have now we'll just have to put a layer style on this layer because the text is going to receive the drop shadow so I'm gonna double click here to bring up the layer style dialog box and then use drop shadow you can play around with these settings you know you can change the angle you can do all sorts of thing here and when you are happy with it all you have to say is okay to accept the value and then just because I want it to you know be in focus the text because that is where I want the users to focus I'll just drop down the opacity of the background a little and I'll also try the blend mod so I'm going to select this picture which is clipped to the text and then I'm going to change the blend mod to exclusion okay gives it a nice feel so try it out if you face any problem put it in the comment section I'll try to resolve it as soon as possible and keep tuned to the channel subscribe hit like and share it once in a while in your social media platforms that would be all for the day i'll meet you in the next video